Welcome to Distant Blue. This is a cute little indie game that came out just March of this year, 2024. I love the charming little art style for cutscenes. <laughs> nope. Scoping out planets, trying to find things that are suitable. Hey, green. Designing something. Zoom. So you don't need to have cinematic cutscenes or anything super like that. Just look at the cute little robot <laughs> doing some maintenance. Until finally, after many long years, we arrive. At a planet. <laughs> Someone muffs up, it seems. Sleeper, sleeper, wake up. Am I? I think. You sleep for five, four, seven, five hundred cycles. Stand up, awakener. Okay. We seem to have a thing about playing games that involve us crash landing. Uh, do I have to do anything? Do, 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 do. Run, 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 run. Pick up. Help. Oh, free our little robot friend. Hey there, bud. Don't be scared. Big thank, Untrapper. What happened? Error. Memory data incomplete. Are together now. Safe now. Yeah, but my cryopod is completely broken. And where is the hearth ship? My pod detached from the hearth ship. Did it separate during landing? Yes, yes. Detached. Crashed. Trapped. KK. KK? Are you okay? Run diagnostics, diagnostics, diagnostics. Untrap nearby. Keiki, protect. Yes, I'm here, don't worry. Can you locate the hearth ship? Triangulation, outside radius. Then we'll have to search for it. The Elder and the others might be in danger. Let's get away before this thing goes boom. Spoilers, it doesn't go boom. <laughs> I love when the camera pans out. I, I do prefer when in games you get a little bit of... Uh, autonomy over the camera but this isn't that style of game this is a much more of an old school game i don't know if this is on console but i feel it probably should be <laughs> this this would do well on switch actually what's this junk doing here pod crash i don't think so it looks like it's been here for a while but how this planet is supposed to be untouched yeah 547,000 years ago maybe pick ew why would i pick up someone else's trash research I'll need a lab coat for that. I don't have a lab coat, but I can hand this over to our actual scientist if they're awake. Pick up trash. Garbage. <laughs> One person's trash is another person's... useful item, I guess? Discovered valley. Cliff paths. Uh, that would be lava. But there is something up there. But uh, I don't see a way to reach it right now. But I do like games teasing you about where you can go in future. For now, I think we can only go up, it seems. Oh, some more trash. If in doubt, pick up everything. This planet was lush with life when we saw it from Ultra 2, but none of the planets look like in the guidebook. Plants look like in the guidebook. Very telescope? The images might have been a little fuzzy, but we've been in cryosleep for a very long time. Who knows what happened? Yeah, things aren't looking so great here for our heroes. <laughs> At least for now. That's a very handy way of going, okay, well, we've come down here. Hmm. We can't get back anymore. We must progress. We're not allowed to just hang around here the whole time. We've got to keep going forwards. That is maybe a way to go, but if we go around here... I know we can't get up to that garbage, never mind. But there is some here. Oh, another pod. 
Another cryopod? They got lucky. Whoever's inside is still sound asleep. We should wake them up. Accessing mission guidebook. Follow safety regulations. Only the mission leader may wake crew members from cryo sleep. Ah, you're right. I really hope the elder is safe. Otherwise, this altar will be in there for a long time. No more sleep is lonely. Don't worry. We'll come back for them. Right, so we're not allowed to interact with that yet. I don't appreciate that so much for game design. That means we're going to have to double back here. Uh, we're allowed to proceed beyond a certain point. We can't get past that, though. Or that. But we can pick up some trash. But it just means that inevitably we're going to have to double back for that and just waste a lot of time, I feel. Not the greatest decision. Scary. <laughs> Feels like I should be able to go up that. It's a rather miasmic looking river. Oop, we missed a, missed a trash up here. Oop. Feels like we should be able to jump down there. And maybe follow the river. But no. Not yet. Hearthship and radius. Ah, I can see it on my compass now. Bloop. Okay, compass top right. As, as is tradition. <laughs> General directions towards things of importance and the current time of day. So there is a day-night cycle as well. Once again, there's a ledge that we can only go down, not up. And here's our hearth ship. We do get a nice pull out there, at least. There's like something up in the top left, like a dream catcher or something. That's weird. Go down. Eee. <laughs> Discovered base. Sweet home. Alabama? There we come. Oh, uh, we're, <laughs> we're hands off now. Elder, you are awake? Of course I am. A robot cannot be in charge of landing the half ship. It is a delicate task, which I executed flawlessly. Um, then why is everything on fire? So you meant to detach the cryopods? Uh, detach? Ahem. <clears throat> you mean to say the survey probes? No, I mean my pod crashed nearby. I woke up on the ground and found Keiki trapped by rubble. Oh. Uh... By the bagoof, by the plentiful, there must have been a malfunction. Only the probes were meant to detach them before landing. We will sort this out promptly, but tell me, what is it like out there? What did you see? I saw another altar's pod. It seemed intact, but we should get them out of there quickly. Of course, you did well to follow protocol and find me, but the pods offer protection. Before opening any other, we must ensure our surroundings are also safe. At the risk of sounding like us look, these plants look suspicious. Examine them and report back to me. Here, take the exoscanny. It will show you data about everything you scan. So, crashed on the planet, uh, explored, picked up junk. We have a scanner now. Equip the scanner. There we go. Looks like a gun, but it's actually a scanner. <laughs> scan the trash. <laughs> Someone else's treasure? Scan plants around the half ship. We'll pick up trash as we go. Bubbling goo. Some type of foam that went bad. Maybe there's a way to turn it into something useful. That wasn't even one that I was meant to scan, but never mind. Scan plant. Hoda da pool. It's unhappy. No kidding. There's a big piece of wreckage next to it. Scan. Large metal pile. Strong force will be needed to extract these large metal chunks from the ground. Alright. So we're going to need some sort of tool. Oop. Hodaka picks. <laughs> also unhappy. And last one. Oop. We don't get to see the name of that one. That was the last one. So we've got a fern, a herb, and a tree. Let's show the elder our findings. Quest completed. We don't get XP or anything. It's not that kind of game. I want to scan the fern again. Hodia Pink. I just wanted to see what it was called. Elder, I think the plants are bad because they're struggling, not because they're dangerous. I was wondering if the trash... No, that cannot be. We had trash everywhere in Ultra 2 and never had any issues. Just stop picking it up and you should be fine. Either way, if there's no danger, then you may go wake up your fellow crewmate. Aren't you supposed to open the pods? I have to <laughs> locate the survey probes, yes. 
requires running complex triangulations in the ship's console. In the meantime, I trust you will handle the port opening task with utmost care. Just get the computer to do it. I'll do my best. Use your map and journal to find your way around. Ah. There we go. Now we are already told about other things that we may find. I feel that these things shouldn't show up. Or if they should, they should be like question marks. We shouldn't know what they are yet. Quests. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Hiking time. Yep, so we're forced to go a different direction now. Because we are unable to climb up. We can't get through those things. So at least it's not literally backtracking. We are sent a different direction. I also said no more trash picking, but why not? And wait for it. Magic. So it's more like Lightyear Frontier in that regard. Witness trash picker. Oh, like I thought, it was the trash making them struggle. I had no idea plants could look so pretty. Pollutants can cause plants to get sick and with them. Remove them to help the plant's environment grow. This is a great game for kids to teach them to not litter and to pick up trash. <laughs> the next one pick up and sure enough sploosh and we get a big root growing whoa it's not just the plants that grew when i cleaned up this root is massive do you think it's sturdy enough to walk on root ridge hey wait for me so by cleaning up the environment you unlock new paths to explore the waterfall there Again, I wish I could just move the camera around a little bit, scroll out a little bit more. Uh, that's a different type of trash that I can't deal with just yet. So is that, looks like. What's this? More junk, but it looks different. Is it organic? It seems to react to nearby plants. Uh, well, we should be able to scan it. A gooey substance that seemingly has hardened with time appears to have a violent reaction when plants are nearby. Well, let's pick this up then. Sploosh. And pop, 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 pop. Hey look, the plants filtered out the pollution once they grew. Good plant. <laughs> this strange substance can be removed with the help of nearby plants as long as they have grown strong enough. So they need to be a certain strength. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Now, what's this stuff? Discarded glass fused together by time. Can it be broken apart? Maybe later. Pick up some more trash. That alone isn't enough to cause a reaction, though. What's up here? Nothing, but there is something else. Oh, we can get that one on the meantime. Look. Oh. And then I guess we can also go down there. That's very bright, that bit. Why are you so sparkly? You're, you're not something I can scan. Something's just really sparkly there for some reason. Oop. Sploosh. Oh, this is a different, different type of trash. So we're learning that we're going to be coming back here again for a different reason. Oh, and here we go. We can scan this now. Oil spill. Yep. We need something to soak it up. And we're back at where the pod was. There's no more trash to interact with around here. We picked it all up on our way. Snore. Snore. <laughs> wakey, wakey, wakey. Oh, my back. Oh, well that's a face I wasn't expecting. Did we arrive? Yes, we're in Ultra 3 now. Thank goodness, I don't think my bones could have taken one more day in that pot. Wait, I thought we'd be by the hardship. We're not far away, just go through the cave and you'll reach it. Great, you go on ahead, I need to gather my flavour capsules first. See you there. Head back to base. Well, there's nothing else for us to do. Even with our newfound powers of picking up trash and making things grow, there doesn't appear to be anything else we can do. I don't think it would have mattered if we'd left picking up the trash until later. 
Like, theoretically, we could have picked the stuff up in the cave now, now that we've learnt that picking up trash is good. I don't think it would have caused any other interactions, though. I feel we wouldn't have been allowed to pick it up if that was the case. Maybe that's something to experiment with, though. Head back to base. Ah, oh, you have returned in one piece. Mission accomplished. Oh, then where is our fellow crew member? Well, what happened was... Exposition time. Da talking, Keiki is off investigating something. Very well, I suppose they should be arriving any minute now. Good work, both of you. Where did that robot disappear to? Keiki? They couldn't have gone far. Don't worry, I'll take a look around. That's a kind of fun way of doing that, so they don't have just all of the dialogue. You get to see the robot zoom off somewhere else. Oh, he's come down here. Big hey, Root! There you are, buddy. Why did you just run off like that? Activity detected. Oh, a bit of life is coming back into this root. Is it because of the plants we helped earlier? But it seems it's not quite big enough. Not yet, at least. Where lead? Inside the cave? I can't really see. <laughs> we'll get to the root of this issue. <laughs> Maybe having more plants might do the trick. Oh, smiley face. But that's for later. Let's go and see if Bahan has arrived yet. Helping plants grow will restore life to the world, which in turn increases the revitalization bar. Ah, good, you found the robot. Aha, he had just arrived moments ago. There you two are. Thanks again for coming to fetch me. I would have naturally come to wake you up myself, but I cannot leave the hardship in the hands of a greenhorn. No worries, your assistant has been very helpful. Elder, me and Kiki managed to bring some life back to some nearby... That's nice. Now let us unpack. I found a storage tent in the ship. Set it up, would you? Am I supposed to leave my precious flavor capsules in a tent? Where is Risa? They should build a workshop. Actually, where is everyone? Ahem, <clears throat> the tent assistant. I'll place it in a nice spot. Won't be much of an improvement, but I appreciate that. As long as I have space for all my sporks. <laughs> Tell Bahan when you're done. There is more to do next. Discontent. Okay. I appreciate the puns. Whoop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Lift with your legs, not with your back. Good advice. Proper lifting form is important. Build. Bloop. <laughs> the tent awaits you. Thanks, but um, I found out from the elder there's a spot in the ship's hold. Uh, your spot. I don't think I can fit both myself and all my utensils in this tiny tent. What do you say about switching? You mean I'd get to sleep in the tent and you in the ship? Fine. Thanks, that's very kind of you. I'm going to carry my stuff to the ship then. I may have overpacked a little. Let's see, what's in here? What in the name of the plentiful is this? What is this shovel doing in my backpack? Did I sleep on this thing the entire journey? No wonder my back is killing me. Just you wait until you get older and your joints start aching. You won't be laughing then. Go easy. Here, I'll take it off your hands. Thank you, I don't want to see that thing ever again. It, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> this shovel is a handy tool, but what to use it for? Do, 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 do. <laughs> we now have a shovel. What a mess. Elder? Oh, what now? Are you alright? <laughs> Naturally, why would I not be? Is there anything I can help you with? And the first step in the mission guidebook is setting up a home base, albeit nothing details what to do if the crew scatters. No, the Elder Federation thoroughly devised this guidebook. If we just follow the steps, we can get to the bottom of this. Why ain't the others the highest priority? I share your concern, yet it is not that easy. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I need you to understand the situation. There were some budget cuts at Exoco before we launched our expedition. <laughs> I believe an emergency release system was planned, but then scrapped halfway. So while the eject button still exists at the hardship, the pods actually cannot be tracked if they detach. Well, that's... that's dumb. <laughs> we are not here to question those who made this expedition possible. Exico passed all the Federation safety regulations. Yeah, they probably made them too. So flammable pods got the green check. Then we'll come up with our own solution. Why do you not focus your energy into something useful instead of pestering me? Oh, just in time. Do you hear that? It's the ship alerting, alerting us to the location of one of our survey probes. 
Go inside the ship and load the coordinates into your compass. Then go away to find the probe, of course. Okay. Someone doesn't want to do his job. Follow the signal southwest. Hmm. Honeycomb. Dig. Plant. We don't have anything to plant, but we've learnt that we can. Pick up. Sploosh. Keki, hold up. I just noticed there's something growing on this herb. Seeds, I think they're called. Let's try grabbing some before we move on. Resources like seeds can be harvested from plants that have bloomed. Simply walk up to such a plant and press harvests. Hila Keperu. Take all. But now we have seeds, so we can now plant things, but only herb seeds at the moment. Oh, we can see the pod. Pod! That's right, but it's lodged into the other side of the cliff. I don't think we can reach it from here. Let's find another bridge. Pick up. Sploosh! Looks like there should be a root bridge there, but we can't access that yet. Ah, uh, we probably have to drop down from above. And that'll open up another path. It's a different type of trash. Pick up. Hmm. Seems like only removing the pollution wasn't enough for this spot. You know, I've been wondering. I don't really know how plants work, but there's a way to grow them, right? Ask Seed. Uh, I don't think they can talk. Can they? They grow from the ground, so let's one put one in there. Seed planter has shovel. Empty soil tiles can be used to plant seeds. Bring out your shovel, dig a hole, and then choose what seed to plant. Oop. Diggy diggy hole. Plants. Herb. Bink bink. Okay. Not quite enough. Plants. Herb. Alright, one more to go. One more what to go. Oh, down here, okay. See, we didn't know about that. Dig. And... Dig. Plants. Herb. And herb. Sploosh! And that's apparently strong enough. Placing two types of plant... Two plants of different types near each other will allow them to grow into a healthy state. There we are. We're learning! Uh, we can't pick up that trash yet, so we'll have to wait. That'll be something to come back for. There's nothing over there. Once again, diggy diggy hole, and we have one more seed left. Sploosh! Huh? The plants grew even bigger this time. Herb, fern, tree, grow together. Hey yeah, maybe they're like us. Having a variety of different neighbours makes them happy. And look, all of them have lots of seeds now. Maybe it's safe to grab some more from them all now that they've grown so big. Two neighbours of different types, plants can grow strong enough to bloom, allowing you to harvest their seeds. Take all, set some more herbs, some trees, pillar to pine, and billy a pool ferns. So now we could go back and uh, replace some of these if we wanted to as well. So if we remove the herb from here, the bridge doesn't go away, thankfully. But now we can place down fern, I think was the one that was missing. Yeah, there we go. And now they all bloom. Harvest tree. Oh, I didn't mean to remove it. Plant herb again. I need to make sure the um, thing isn't equipped. There we go. Harvest and harvest. And then over here, what are we missing here? Also fern. Yeah, because we were only planting herbs. So you can plant herb again. Ah, uh, fern rather. Put the... Shovel away, and now we can harvest the tree. I do like you can just mash E just to take all. It, yeah, take all buttons are really nice. <laughs> oh, I can harvest again already? Wow, okay. They 
Seems that you just need to leave the screen and then they're ready to harvest again. Yeah, okay. So, seeds are infinite, essentially. <laughs> Good to know. And then we've got this whole lot there, but we've got to remove that trash first. So, again, we can just harvest even more just to keep, just to keep ourselves stocked up. Okay, <laughs> now let's stop wasting time. Okay. Nope. Something went flying just now. Were those seeds? It must have been. New plants are growing where they landed. Hakey catch. <laughs> no, it's good. I think that's how they spread. It'll help us plant seeds faster. When plants bloom, they'll attempt to spread their seed to nearby tiles. Empty tiles. Now, the problem is that they don't necessarily spread to optimal places. It's got tree, fern, and herb. And then we've got another tree here, whereas what we actually want to alternate. So at this point, we want, uh, oh, which, which is which again? <laughs> Close. Um, that's fern, so we want herb here. Herb there. Yeah, see, and then it, it spreads to here, but we don't want that there. This, we want to be a fern. There we go. And now it's fully happy. Ditto down here. We don't want that to be... Well, we could. We can do some repeating motifs. We don't have to alternate constantly. But at this point here, we probably want to have another tree instead. And then it puts another tree down here. Which is already happy because uh, it's got alternating. I think we're never going to get a situation where everything is fully happy, but whoa, okay. But that, that did a lot. So I guess we could theoretically shuffle things around. I think all that mattered though was that we planted, like, all of the squares just had to be filled for this particular section to complete. And you can look down into this ludgy water. Oh, and here we go. So now we're on this lower area that we were wondering about before. So we want to plant a tree. We need lots of extra herb. Uh, no, fern. We're lacking in fern seeds specifically. Plant a herb. There we go. Uh, let's go back up here and harvest fern. Harvest fern. And then harvest fern. So now they'll be a little bit more equal. Alright, so now we can have a shortcut down here. Oh, we're not allowed to remove these? Ah, okay. No, not allowed to remove those. Never mind, I was going to optimize them, but that's fine. These roots are really handy. Yep. Okay, so that one there is going to break when we grow things from the other side. Up here, there is a tree. So if we then dig and plant a fern there, dig and plant a herb there, then they should like pop. Yeah, there we go. Oh, only the tree. That's weird. Never mind. And let's put a fern down here. Sploosh. No immediately obvious effect, but it's helping the area in general be healthier. Cool. Oh, then we have some weird slime over here that we can't do anything with. Crap. So we weren't actually meant to come this way yet. As is my nature in games. Going places I'm not meant to be yet. Alright, that involves trash we can't clear yet. This has some rubbish up here that we can remove. Okay, so the survey probe is further that way. Let's go over here first. Wakey wakey. Huh? How, how did they get out of the pod? Unless... No, did we forget them on Ultra 2? Hiki guard pods on ship. Everyone there. Aha, uh -huh, it's a note from Risa. To Elder Umaro. If you're not the Elder, take this to the Elder. Read. I'm the Elder's assistant, so... Woke up from cryosleep three cycles ago. I'm unharmed. I considered the pros cons of waiting for rescue. Decided to head out. I'll follow the river. 
Risa. Weird. Why would Risa not wait for us if they thought we'd find them? And who knows how long that river is? Let's bring the note back to Elder Umaral together with the survey probe data. We can also go down here and just look out. Be a nice spot to be able to like look around, maybe have the kind of field of view zoom out again. Never mind. Missed opportunity. And here's the survey probe. And a bridge of some description. Activate. This must be the survey probe the Elder mentioned. Seems to have gathered quite a lot of data about this region. I hope the uplink still works. We can send it back to the hardship. Instructions? It shouldn't be too difficult. Just let me... Ah, there. Quest complete. But yeah, that's a... Uh... That's a definite bridge that someone has made. But we don't seem to have any opportunity to comment on it right now. Well, let's go back. What else can we find down here? It's like the remnants of a road, looks like. With two tracks, so it's like a vehicle tracks. Okay, and there's a pipeline. All right, someone's definitely been here before us. <laughs> Are we cleaning up after someone's satisfactory session? <laughs> straight through this nope uh oh it's pulsar quartz <laughs> oh we're not allowed to cross the water all right oh but we can sit ah oh, i was hoping the view would like zoom in and would actually see it from our perspective and look across at the view never mind patch uh, possibility guys developers if you're watching uh <laughs> still just a few ideas Ah, here we go. So now we're the other side of this. So let's put a tree in the middle, perhaps. And then over this side. It's in the shade, so let's put a fern down there. And then over this side, we'll put a herb. And they should all be happy. And we'll go boing, boing, boing. Happy plants. Excellent. Now we can harvest herb, harvest fern, harvest tree. Ah, but it didn't break these. Did, does this need to be happier, does it? So we've got two that are happy. How can we make this one happier? We would have to remove this tree. Let's harvest it first. And then remove this tree and replace that with herb. And that'll make that bigger. There we go. Ah, so yes, they need to be happier. Uh, so, to get back, we need to go back along the beach, don't we? Uh, we want to plant a herb. There we go. And now we can plant a tree there. And they're all happy. And this is a different type of fern as well than what we currently have here. So that's cool. So we're expanding our options. So we want to come back and harvest more of that one probably in a future date. Uh, was there... Oh, hello. What are you? Chonker. A <laughs> small but hefty creature. Cute. And we'll bring the note back to the Elder. And he'll tell us off, I'm sure. By the plentiful. Elder, I found Racer's pod down by the shoreline. It was empty, but they left a note. Why did you not start with that? It nearly gave me a heart attack. Give it here. It is addressed to me. I can see it has been opened. Not by any newsy assistant, I hope. Oof, let us see. Risa ventured out into the wilds, and the directions they left are too unreliable to follow. They might find the ship on their own. I understood you left the safety of your pod because it was damaged, but I expected better judgment from Risa. I trust they can handle themselves, but the situation is worrisome. We need to learn more about our environment in order to determine where they might have gone. I can search for more survey probes. I already sent the data from the one you asked me to locate. Good, good. Something definitely happened here. Did you discover anything else? Well, Kiki and I made even more plants grow. We planted them next to each other, and... I have no interest in that, Assistant. I must focus on finding Risa. I'm sure Bahan will be happy to hear your anecdotes. We also saw a pipeline and a bridge, so I mean, 
<laughs> we found a little bit more than just that. Hey, Bam, do you have some time? For you? Always. Great, look at this cool thing I've learned. I just need a spot where I can put three different plants together. How about this spot? I just finished going through the stuff that was laying around here. Oh, what are you going to use it for? And what about your back? Oh, it's feeling a lot better, so don't worry. And as for the stuff, well, let's just say it's for a side project. But never mind that, show me what you learned. So that's a tree first of all. Dig. And we'll put a fern over here. We'll put one of the new ones down. Dig. And we'll put a herb down here. Sploosh! Wow, that's amazing! Right? When the plants grow big like this, it's even possible to harvest new seeds from them. And with those seeds, we should be able to finally make some jelly! True, yesterday was so intense I didn't even notice we skipped dinner. Oh, I noticed. My stomach was grumbling all morning. But I packed my flavor capsules super well so they're all fresh. I'll mix everyone's favorite. I dug out the Exonutri assembly box from the ship's storage, but I'm kind of spent at the moment. Would you mind fetching it and setting it up outside? Up into the ship again, and in the same place. <laughs> Don't have to go find anything. Place the Exonutri. Build. Put any seeds into the Exonutri to have it craft a batch of jelly. Alright, well we have a lot. So we can do that. Let's make a bit extra. Because we have a lot of excess. And we don't appear to have an inventory limit, I don't think. Jelly time! Dr. Jellida! Jelly is ready! Oh, look at that. We might make a flavor chemist out of you. Cakey tastes! Sorry, but this is altar food. Now let us eat. I'm starving. Nom. Nom. Ugh, this jelly is disgusting. There's no seasoning. What happened to the flavor? I didn't want to say anything, but... The flavor infuser must have been damaged. No need to overreact. Just fix it. I can't. This line was recalled from the market right before our expedition. Some accident involving a hemp... hemp... hamster, presumably. You're saying we don't have any spare parts? I'm sure Reese will manage to make some once they're back. As much as I trust Reese's skill, I don't think they'll be able to. Exoco makes these things function only with their own certified parts. Oh, in the name of the plentiful. And we must eat the jelly as it is. Although, with respect, I've had to mix some very questionable flavors in my career, but this is unbearable. On my pride as a flavor chemist, we must do better. And what are we going to eat? I, I don't know. I'll need some time to clear my head. I'm so tired. I'm not surprised. You've been running around all day. Why don't you take a break? Come, let's light a campfire. Make camp. Activate. Okay, apparently I don't need to gather anything for that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. No, I don't have my automatic lighter with me. There's barely any flame. Low oxygen level. Maybe the Elder knows how to do this. They were probably around when fire was discovered. Fine, I'm planning a hangar around the campfire, but I don't know how to start it up. Try finding something you have in common. That's always a good first step. Huh? Oh, I meant the fire is not lighting up. Ah! I, I can, of course, show you how to do it. Just give me some time to find my doot doot. Your what? It's like one of those really slow escort quests where they just shuffle along. <laughs> now, let me show you how to start a proper fire. You just need to blow more oxygen into it. Good thing I brought my tooth toot with me. Inhales... I mean, looks like a flamethrower, but okay. Exceptional. Oh, my ears. Is the tooth toot necessary, Elder? Not at all, but it's certainly entertaining. I used to be in a tooth toot band back in the day, you know? So it's like bagpipes, I guess. Yawn. It is getting late. Assistant, if you wish to retire for the night, the tent awaits you. What about you, Elder? Where will you sleep? Oh, I have a bedroom in the midship. See you in the morning, and do not disturb me. Oh, okay, we can sleep to morning or evening. Sleep till morning, there we go. That's going to do it for now, but yes, you get the gist. Maybe we'll continue this on, this might become another little series or something, but I would recommend checking out this little game. Uh, yeah, Distant Bloom, it's on Steam, 
I'm not sure if it's on console or anything, but it would definitely be a really good console game. It's very charming, controls are very simple. Uh, would, it's great for all ages, pretty much. You could play it with kids and just get them into it. Maybe you have to you know, do a little bit of the problem solving for them, but yeah, good fun. We'll see if we pick this up another time, if I have a little bit of spare time that I don't know what to do with. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.